Hi, I'm Mitch Gross, uh, the Communications Director for Convergent Design. And uh, we're here at Cinegear with our new firmware update, which we released just two days before the show. So everyone's been coming over, are very excited. There's a bunch of different functions. Most of them are monitoring functions. So the big one is 3D LUTs. Now we've had uh, LUT control in the, in, the, in the past, but now we've greatly expanded it. So not only do we have a bunch of preloaded LUTs, but you can also uh, load in your own custom LUTs. You can just create regular image queues from lots of different programs and then use our little file converter to put them right into the Odyssey 7Q+. Plus. It can hold up to 140 of them. And you can also route them, which is a really unique capability. So we have the monitoring tools like the uh, waveform and false color. You can choose to send the LUT to it or not. So you could be like looking at a LUTed image, but still mo metering uh, with like a waveform the unLUTed original underlying signal. So you can kind of compare them right away without having to switch back and forth. And then you have three different outputs, SDI1, SDI2, as well as HDMI. And you can decide, well, this one I'm going to send the exact same thing I'm seeing on the screen so I can have a big monitor on set while I'm setting my lightings and be able to you know, see what that is. And then I might have another one that I'm sending to an engineer and that's going to be no LUT supplied and always no LUT supplied no matter what I switch on the Odyssey. And then on the third one, that's going to go for the client and I always want to have a LUT on there and they never let them see me switch off the LUT, never have tools show up and stuff. So that'll be LUT always on. And that's a level of capability and control in a one inch thick device that you would otherwise need like an entire cart to do, and a bunch of different control boxes and stuff. There's a lot of equipment that you would need. That's all built into the Odyssey 7Q and 7Q Plus uh, free firmware upgrade. There's also 17 by nine uh, monitoring. So we letterbox a full true 4K uh, image. Uh, we also have anamorphic D-squeeze. So the uh, 1.33, 1 1.5, 2x, uh, uh, kind of whatever anamorphic lenses you're going to be using, we can de-squeeze that image. And we send uh, both the 17 by 9 as well as the anamorphic de-squeeze, we send to our, our output so that you can see that on other monitors. So it's de-squeezing everywhere. But you're still recording you know, an unaltered signal on the Odyssey memory. So that way you can do that in post and extract whatever you want in the frame and stuff. You don't have to worry about messing anything up. Same with the LUTs, you don't hurt your original recording. You have all that underlying information available to you. We've also improved the focus assist. We've uh, improved the, uh, the false color mode. We've greatly improved zebras. They are colored zebras now that nobody else has. And you have two different ones and lots of different controls. Lots and lots of different little updates like that. And in addition, if you're an FS7 or FS700 user, uh, and you take the raw signal from those cameras, we have dramatically improved the color processing that we take from the original 4K signal. So it's like a whole new camera now with both of those cameras. You really have a terrific looking uh, image, especially on skin tones. That's where we're always very critical about the look of our image. So we've added a lot of improvements uh, to the Odyssey. Again, this is all a free firmware update. We're also showing today uh, a couple of mount pieces from Extender, which is an accessory company. We have lots of third-party manufacturers that we work with and want to make sure that they're supporting our, our device and doing it in ways that integrate well with other pieces. So the, this Extender friction mount is just a, uh, a ball mount uh, or you know, fits on a hot shoe and is a tilting control and as well as uh, it comes with a little adapter piece so that you could put it onto a regular quarter 20 mount if you didn't have a hot shoe or a cold shoe actually. Uh, and then we also have on the side here a, uh, a, a clamp for HDMI. Now this is, our HDMI input has become really popular now that we on the 7Q Plus we have 4K in over HDMI. That's something that people are really uh, concerned about because HDMI is not the strongest connector in the world. So this little clamp is, uh, again, this is an extender, this is a prototype, they're debuting it today. Um, what's weird is that every HDMI connector is a little bit different size, and they're slightly different shapes and stuff, so it's kind of hard to make a good clamp for them. And, you know, HDMI wants to come loose. So this one is sort of a universal design, it has a little slider piece to it, and it wraps around, it even has a little indent on it, so if you put a zip tie on, you could 
kind of make a nice permanent kind of uh, mount on it. But even without that, I'll tell you, someone knocked this over today and it fell to the ground. And not only was the Odyssey okay, but the cable never even came loose. I mean, it was all locked in place. So it was unplanned for testimonial test. It worked out just fine. So this is a little piece from Extender that they're going to have available in a few weeks.